US-based Gilead Sciences announced non-exclusive voluntary licensing agreements with five generic pharmaceutical manufacturers. It includes India-based Cipla, Hetero Labs, Jubilant Life Sciences, along with Netherlands-based Mylan and Pakistan-based Feroz Sons Laboratories. The decision by the antiviral drug maker is taken to further expand the supply of Remdesivir to treat COVID-19 to tackle probable problem of high global demand against limited capacity. These companies will manufacture the medicine for distribution in 127 countries. It includes India, which is subject to regulatory approvals. The countries range from low-income to high-income countries facing obstacles in access to health care. U.S. Food and Drug Administration has already issued an emergency use authorization to Remdesivir for treatment of the novel coronavirus. What are the terms of Gilead's agreement? Well, these five companies get a right to receive a technology transfer of the Gilead manufacturing process to manufacture the active pharmaceutical ingredient. When I say API, it means the key biological ingredient of a drug. It can be used by these generic companies to manufacture the finished product at a commercial scale as per the deal. An important thing to note is that the licenses are royalty-free until the World Health Organization declares the end of the public health emergency of international concern or any other vaccine or drug is approved to treat or prevent COVID-19. Previously, Gilead used voluntary licenses to rope in Indian companies to manufacture and distribute HIV and Hepatitis C medications to low-middle-income countries for a royalty of around 7-12% to on net sales. Cipla, Hetero and Myelin have been previous license holders of Hep C and anti-HIV drugs by Gilead. It was a successful expansion model that got the prices of generic life-saving drugs down. From around $1,000 a pill for Hepatitis C drug Sovaldi in the US to $13.71 per pill in India. What made Gilead let go royalties this time? Because of the ongoing pandemic, Gilead is under pressure to be more generous. On the other hand, several countries can anyway relax licensing provisions during national emergencies without the consent of the patent owner as per World Trade Organization's agreement on intellectual property rights. How will Gilead regain its huge research investment? Well, apart from almost a decade of research, the pharma company has earmarked an investment of $1 billion this year for development. In the near term, the drug maker will have to rely on sales in the US and other developed countries to recoup the money. When will Remdesivir be available in India? The Indian government, Indian Council of Medical Research and the Drug Controller General of India are working on necessary studies with the companies. Remdesivir will launch in India after the approval by the drug regulator that the antiviral can be used to treat COVID-19 patients.